In 1805, Britain's greatest fear was that Napoleon Bonaparte would carry out his threat to invade these islands. Between threat and reality, there stood only the British fleet. Admiral Nelson had blockaded the enemy fleet in Toulon and had chased them across to the West Indies and back. Now, the combined French and Spanish fleets were reforming under the command of Admiral Villeneuve in the harbor of Cadiz in Spain. After more than two years continuously at sea, Nelson was enjoying a spell of well-earned leave at his home at Merton in Surrey. Then came news from Admiral Collingwood, Nelson's second in command, that the enemy fleets were preparing for sea. Nelson hurried by coach to Portsmouth to join his flagship, HMS Victory. The sailors too had been enjoying a spot of shore leave in the taverns of Portsmouth and were making their way back to the Victory, albeit a little unsteadily. Surely this was a chance to strike a decisive blow against the French tyrant. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to relive the Battle of Trafalgar. Some of her high-spirited sailors no doubt danced the hornpipe on the forecastle. Nelson finally joined the fleet off Cadiz on the 28th of September. That night, he invited all his captains on board Victory, and after dinner, he outlined to them his bold and original plan of battle. Later, he wrote in his diary, when I came to explain to them the Nelson touch, it was like an electric shock. Some shed tears, all approved. It was new, it was singular, it was simple. Suddenly, news came that the enemy were leaving harbor. The British ships began to prepare for battle. Sound the alert!
beat to quarters. As Nelson led his fleet into battle, he called his signal officer, Lieutenant Pasco, to his side and said, Mr. Pasco, I wish to amuse the fleet. Please make this signal. England confirms that every man will do his duty. And ask the Admiral if he could use the word expects instead of confides, as it was easier to send. That will do, said Nelson. England expects that every man will do his duty. The immortal signal was received with three cheers in every ship.